but I don't think inflation is necessarily a bad thing when you're in the commodities game. It's all about how you perform relative to your peers, and some of that will be by the hard work you do around controlling your costs of productivity improvements you have, but part of it will also be by the type of ore body you have. For example, Worsley, which is an aluminum refinery in the southwest of Western Australia, we have low reactive silica levels, and reactive silica is handled by caustic. Caustic has actually gone through the roof in terms of pricing, but many of our peers will require far more, which gives the industry actually cost curve shape, but also provides price support. Um, so I don't think all inflation is a bad thing. It's a question about how you actually manage it through the cycle. What you don't want is inflation to be too bad that actually diminishes consumer confidence and consumer consumption. Now, South 32, as some people a lot of investors should know are big on aluminium. We're seeing a lot of things in the mix moving forward over the course of the next year that could be even more beneficial for your bottom line. We've got the issues with Russia and the Ukraine potentially in terms of Rusal and what they're able to ship out. You've got the, the power crunch in China. Do you think that there's more to run another leg up when it does come to aluminium pricing in 22-23? Look, I think short term, you're hitting the nail on the head. Some of those uncertainties around Ukraine and Russia, but also what you're seeing in China around power costs, but also the push to be green, that's all providing really strong support. And it's actually reflected by the record low inventory levels you're seeing in the LME and the various exchanges. Um, I think the more interesting thing, medium to long term, for the last 10 years, everyone's been focused on iron ore, understanding the supply side, demand, economics. And to be honest, if you think about aluminium, it's been a commodity in the doldrum for the last 20 years because of oversupply and capacity in China. Well, the world's actually shifted because China's getting to a position where it's almost self-contained about what it needs. It'll have to import bauxite units, but it's actually going to be ex-China growth that we believe will provide support to the aluminium price longer term. Um, and what's going to be important in that space is increasing new exposure to green aluminium, hence why we increased our stake in Moselle and also working with our cover to start our actual smelter in Brazil.